guys? Welcome back. As you see in the title, we reset the Cressida stick shift record and it kind of happened unexpectedly. Uh, my friends were at the track. They had a track rental. That racing channel was there. Um, a lot of people had issues with their cars, didn't show up, whatever the case may be. And I got an invite to come out and they politely let me run my car on the track. First run, pulled up. Didn't do anything crazy, and we knocked off this run right here. And I was ecstatic. I was like, awesome. I don't need to run anymore. That's a PB, and we did it on our 17-inch setup. So I don't know what the deal is that the car likes the 17-inch radial setup. I'm able to slip the clutch more and get it to launch well. It was our best 60 foot, 141 60 foot, 967 at 142. So I'm ecstatic about that. That's awesome. Just that much closer to our goal of hopefully getting the eight, which is what we're working towards. And yeah, so next up, uh, I got to get set up for the TRC event that they got coming up. All right, so tonight we got a TRC event going on at PBIR. They say it might be their last one because they're selling PBIR. It's going to become a Walmart distribution center, blah, 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 Wherever the case may be, I figure let's take the car out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bumper off and we're going to do some roll racing runs. My roll racing has always been pretty consistent, 142, 143, but my ATs have been through the roof in the 170s on a drag run so it should be kind of similar on the uh, roll race I think but either way we're gonna take the bumper off just go over the car real quick then we'll shoot over the PBIR do some testing I think it's gonna make a big difference having the bumper off there's also a cool front here today I think it's gonna be in the 60s here cooler than the normal 80 or 90 degree weather we're running in but overall I think we'll be able to watch the temperature difference over the whole course of the run so Knock this out, let's get ready and roll out. All right, check that out. Got the bumper off, it's looking pretty mean. So we did some quick math. Hold on, let me uh, turn this camera around. All right, so we did some quick math. So before, the intercooler had 22 inches across and it was only exposing 1.75 top to bottom with the bumper and that lip, that's all it would expose. So it came out to a total of 38.5 square inches. And you take the bumper off, we still have 22 across, and now we have 9.75 exposed height, and that comes out to a total of 214 square inches of exposed intercooler, and that's a 450, over 450% increase in surface area. So fingers crossed, it makes a difference. So next thing I gotta do is we gotta check the oil, then we also need to, uh, whatchamacallit, with the catch can. Drain out the catch can, also clean out the filter, make sure it's clean, gets good flow out of there. And just a quick once over, make sure your laptop's charged, all that stuff. Alright, we're all washed up clean, ready to hit the track. Looks like a completely different car like this. Street car.
back here in the uh, VIP pits TRC. We got crew chief. Crew chief, say hi. Hello. There he is. Uh, made our first run and we spun, so no real data. So hopefully we don't spin next run and uh, see what happens. Go get in the staging lanes. A lot of nice cars out here. I'm going to have to do a walk around before it gets dark. Show you guys some of the nice stuff out here. Uh, that thing has a 2J, two clean Supras, another the Zubra channel, fast Evos, 2J swapped uh, BRZ over there. Some badass stuff. So, all right, let's go stage. A, uh, 2JZ Lamborghini thing. Interesting. Uh -huh. Alright, we specifically walked over here for this uh, Evo because this thing is mint. Look at it. Oh, uh, with the sunset in the background. Woo. Yeah. Tickles my pickle. A huge turnout. All right, so latest update. If you can't see, we have a truck trailer, Tyler, Rudy, and a broken Cressida. And we broke the rear end in the car. So Tyler was like the nicest person ever. He offered me his truck and trailer. He's like, yeah, man take it home, drop it off, and just bring it back. So I can't thank him enough. I can't wait till I get my own truck and trailer. But in the meantime, this is what we got going on. We'll take the diff apart later on and diagnose it, and uh, let's get going. Oh. Oh. All right, let's start this next section with um, the new oval. Eric, what happened? What happened? Tell us. No, I don't even know, bro. What? It's, it's, a, it's a crap show. So Tyler was kind enough to bring his truck and trailer out. So we put the ramps under the gates. Car goes on the ramps. Car goes on the gate. Car goes on the trailer. That's how it's supposed to go. Car went on ramps. Ramps went on their car. And then that's what happened to the exhaust. <laughs> and then the ramp got stuck under the car and it broke. Now I owe Tyler new ramps. Luckily I have the same ones at my house and I can, I'll just trade them the ones at my house. But... 
yeah that's where at so a little difficult getting it on here but uh oscar said we can use his after the event so park the car lock it up and uh cry for a few hours till we leave and uh that's it man that's all we got anything else eric that's it that's it all right here's attempt number two oscar with his trailer we know the car gets on here easier thank you so much tyler but we we know we can get onto here so we're loaded up go out to dinner thanks to uh martin martin is kind enough they trailered this bike out here to come race martin's gonna ride the bike to my house and then put it back on the trailer so we can trailer my car home so thanks a lot to everybody and that's the end of our night well we're gonna grab dinner but end of anything car related so again thanks to my close friends for helping out so much when you run into your family on the road david's mustang and a piece of crap mark three supra that i'm gonna bum parts off of all right so that's how my night ended broken diff towing the car home but i did want to address a couple things that a couple people have messaged me about since i've broken it a few people oh what rear end what rear end do you have i have a mark three supra lsd rear end with a weird stage one kit in it so it's nothing crazy lsd 373 but I also have the excessive manufacturing four point conversion, which makes it a little bit stiffer and uh, better mounted to the car. So that's the first thing. Second thing is this LSD was showing signs that I had issues already. I developed a little hum prior to the event and I knew I needed to service it, but I wanted to push my luck and I said, all right, I'll do this last event, then I'll prep for Texas. And look what happened, I broke the diff. So I did some research and actually before I went to the event, I already ordered a solid pinion spacer kit from Weir because I knew I wanted to service it. So lesson to be learned, if you have an issue or you see something that isn't acting right, it's better and easier to service it beforehand than to push your lock and let it break. Because now I have to replace the part versus just servicing, servicing it, which will longer, more time and money. And that's not what you want when you're trying to race. So take that lesson from me. And a couple of people asked if I'm gonna upgrade to like a Ford 88. No, I think my rear end is fine. And just, I let the service interval lapse. And this is what happened. I should have taken the signs, the humming and serviced it when I could have, but I didn't. So we'll move forward. Uh, next episode, we're gonna pull the diff out, see what broke, see all the carnage and go from there. Looking forward to it. Filming. What is it, John? YouTube. Comment, like this video if you like it. Watch some more if you don't like it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>